here. Thank you. How's it feel being on the red carpet? And tell us a little bit of why you're here. Um, my name is Daphna Edwards Simon. This is my home. And I'm hosting this event tonight. Rod is Rod Sherwood. I'm president of Cinema Television, and Rod is chairman and CEO. And we're sponsoring tonight. And tonight is all about dreams. Dreams come true. And we are here on behalf of children who are afraid to dream. Afraid to dream because they are dead. And because they are removed from their homes for no fault of their own. Even because of abuse or neglect. And then they end up in a vicious system that is like a revolving door of people. And everyone makes money on their back. But nobody really cares enough about what happens to their future. Tonight is about telling all of us that we are the gatekeepers. We have to take responsibility for every one of these children. Even in the Bible it says that if you save one child, you've saved the entire world. All of us need to take responsibility. It's not just some of us, because every child deserves to dream and deserves to receive an Oscar and deserves to at least have a chance at a great life where they can develop their talents and be somebody they are proud of. There's a lot of love in your heart to do what you do, I'm sure. Yes. There's tremendous love in her heart. Yes. And the Children United Nations mentoring program makes a tremendous difference for the graduation rates of foster care youth. It increases it from the teens up to over 90%. So it basically saves their lives. And every life saved makes a tremendous difference by itself. So we encourage you to support Children United Nations. And talk about maybe one success story that you can say, well, okay. this person has come from the depths of I will. Um, there's a woman by the name of Joyce Ray, who is a real, very famous, successful real estate person. She became a mentor to a 10-year-old child that, that named Desmond. She met him at the day of the child. He planned to commit suicide the day after. He went to the day of the child as his last day of enjoyment. He met Joyce. She asked him what his dream was. And he told her he's never held a tennis record. And she said, let me buy you a tennis record. He said he wanted to play tennis. That was his dream. We called Vanessa and Serena Williams. They gave him a scholarship in their club. He just won his fifth championship. That is one case and there are so many more. Thank you so much. Continued success in the work that you are doing. Thank you very much. This room is a gatekeeper to the future, to the future of our children. And it is our job to make sure that those children who are thrown into a world where there are no parents and nothing. They don't own anything, they don't live anywhere. They don't have anyone. Yes, I know someone like that. My friend here was one of those children and that's why he gives his life for this cause. Yes, and look what he's done with his life because somebody cared. And I was a white child back then. <laughs> they call us chocolate and vanilla. I'm the chocolate, he's the vanilla. <laughs> but I know that tonight, my friend Aubrey Chernick has donated an entire academic mentoring center for a hundred children so that they can graduate <laughs> from college. 78.8% of all inmates in penitentiary come from the child welfare system. And most of them are either African American or Latino. And that means every one of you needs to care. I 
appreciate your help. I appreciate you being here. I've got a matching donation from Eric Murray for $10,000 towards an academic mentoring center. James Amos, $5,000. That's five children that will reach high school and graduate. Anybody else? This is for La Raza. Thank you. 